Gonzaga. It's a high low. Petrushev goes up and scores with a foul. And you can see it. And, and it, it, it was open on the previous time. You see those numbers you were talking about. Last three, 25 points a game playing his. He's good for Malik Fitz. Tilly on the bench with two personal fouls. Trushev back in, and he'll get a touchdown low. Working his way closer. Spins back middle, took some contact and scores. He... Trushev, eh? how do you shoot 75%? You get looks like that. And then you follow up your own misses and score just like that. Well, limited rebounds on that end. Johnson, another spin move. Rebound, Gonzaga. And the big man's going to bring the ball up. Final two minutes of the half. Just a spectacular display of offensive firepower. Even Petrushev handling the ball and switch to the left hand for the finish. Extremely important player for Gonzaga. Ford, meanwhile, had nowhere to go with the ball. He's still shaking that left hand. Not great. Petrushev, score the basket plus a foul. Gonzaga's just blown. Dan Dickow decides to text me. Yeah. <laughs> Said, get a haircut at my barber shop. There you go, Dan. There, there's your shout out. We were looking for a different kind yeah. of suggestion. Yeah, that was a great game. It's been a year where part of the talk around college hoops has been offense down, scoring down. Not, not today. Teams, and not this. Uh, you're right. Not around college hoops all day today. The true chef right over the defense. Bad. Uh, and, and obviously, you know, to improve himself, but also just a huge part of what Pat Chambers is, has centered everything around this year. And they're going to the NCAA tournament. There's no doubt about that. But a huge week for them. That's a team that plays with pace, plays with offense. Gilder, who's been effective when he's been in the game tonight. Petrushev's going to try a three and hits it. There's a confidence.